Okay, welcome to EL164 online version. We are going to today. We're going to talk. I'll continue to talk about counters. This uh, this is chapter 15, part four, programming counters in the control logics format. We discussed it in the uh, RS. Logics 500 version. Now we're going to talk about it more in the where we get into even further detail in our RS Logics 5000. So uh, programming counters in the Control Logics control. Okay. So again, as you remember in the previous uh, segment, there we did. Uh, there's three components to the counters. There's the address, the preset value, the accumulated value. It uh, consumes three words. What they call first word is going to be a control word, which is going to have these bits associated to it, the, the counter up, counter down, done bit, all those fun things. And then the, the, the preset word and the accumulated word. They're going to be found, as you can see here, this is the, uh, the control bar for the uh, RS Logics 5000 under timer counter again. This time we've got CTU, CTD, and RES or reset. So counter up, counter down, and reset. And they show a kind of an illustration of both of those here. So here we are looking at the counter up. We've got uh, the counter, uh, they call it counter package counter, uh, preset value of 24, accumulated value of 0. And they also included the reset, noting that the package counter is the name of this counter. Package counter. So that noticing again, that address has to match that address in order to work properly. If that's not the same address, it will not reset that counter. Here's all the pieces of that. We've got the preset word, double integer, so 32 bits. The accumulated value is um, a double integer again, that's uh, 32 bits. And then noticing all these components here are individual bits and in Boolean. So it's counter up, counter down, done bit, overload and unload. So. Uh, preset value again uh, specifies uh, the value in the counter must be reached before done bit turns on. The uh, for the done bit to turn on, like the 500 series, the preset value and the accumulated value must be equal to or greater than. The accumulated value must be greater than the preset value uh, to uh, to turn on the done bit. Uh, CU is of course count up enable. CD is uh, our, our, yeah CD is counter down enable. The done bit is uh, when the cumulative value is equal to or greater than the preset value. Oh, notice uh, something here. Notice how these components on uh, the overflow bit is much larger than 32767, and the underflow bit is much smaller than the underflow bit of the 500. So, you know, 32,757 is a very small number compared to this number. So. Counter up counter. So here we got the package counter again, the preset value. They're, they're kind of throwing a, uh, a ta new tag develop. They call it package counter, the base. Data type. This is a critical path. Like timers, if I do not select counter here, it will not be recognized as a counter. It will be recognized as a what? Whatever's in there. So if that says double integer in there, it's going to be recognized as a double integer. You can call it package counter all day long, but it's not going to recognize it as a counter until what? You've created the data type of counter. So here we're creating the new tag. Boy, I'm really slow typing here. Let's see if I can speed this along a little bit. So notice, where did they put counter? Oh, they did. They just select counter all of this. So counter is in the name. Notice how counter is right here. The head counter right there in the, in the tag there. So just keep that in mind. Count up, 
counter. So here we are at CTU. Um, we're uh, using the same address. So this looks very, should look very familiar to the previous lecture here we had. And we're just sitting there triggering that counter, as you can see here, as that accumulated value increments. We're, uh, we're triggering the, the count up. When it reaches 24, gun bit will turn on, turning on the pilot light, and then they'll hit the reset button and it'll go back to zero. Bam, done. Here they're going to give us another example using the counter. Okay, so here we got uh, the counter counts. So preset, accumulated value, integer, integer. Uh, the rest are booleans. And then we got counter max. They did the same thing. Preset, accumulated, all these bits. So that's pretty much it. Counter down counter, same thing. As you can see here, we are the CTD. This time we're going to be using what the uh, CD instead of the CU for an enable. So it should look very familiar to us. Counter, this time they're going to call this one counter underscore one. Again, uh, preset accumulated values are integers. The rest of them are Boolean bits. So this is kind of showing us when the enter versus the exit hit, depending on whether it's going to count up or count down. Notice that they use the same address for both to get the counter up and counter down. down. So here we're looking at total bottles. So again. Okay, so here we're looking at um, another time replication. We're watching the bottles, the total bottles going by in uh, one minute. So here, uh, if we're counting up, blah, blah, blah. Getting this going here. Um, so when we hit 30, 30,000 or 30 seconds, I guess it is. Bam, 30 seconds, it's a done bit. Done bit turns on, stop. you can no longer trigger the counter. So the counter's gonna reset to zero when you hit the stop switch and now you're back in business again. So you reset the, the, the total number count, reset the timer, and now you can uh, start to switch again and, and trigger it again. So that is the 5000 series software, um, very close to the 500. Again, there's not uh, a lot of the stuff with the counters, I think, is rather intuitive. And so um, I have uh, a lab that we'll be going through yet, and then uh, that'll, uh, that'll wrap up the counters for us. So um, I will uh, talk to you guys later.